Hello everyone and welcome to this Aquas 2020 tutorial. In the last tutorial we set up water using the setup wizard of Aquas 2020. In this tutorial we will cover how to set up underwater effects. I have the setup wizard docked in the bottom right corner. Let's move to the underwater setup tab. One word of advice before we begin. It is recommended that you finish setting up your water plane or your water planes if you have more than one before setting up underwater effects since the underwater effects will at first be set up based on the settings of the water planes. First we have to select the type of underwater setup we would like to have. We can choose between simple and advanced. Simple underwater effects are more performant but offer less features. We will get to that in a minute. For this tutorial we will choose the advanced underwater setup. Next we are asked to input a camera. If there is no camera specified, drag your main camera from the hierarchy and drop it here. We can now click Add Underwater Effects. Let's have a look at what has been done. When we have a look at the Aquas water plane, we see that an object called Static Boundary has been added as a child object. This object is important for masking and rendering underwater effects. When we click the water plane, we find a component called Aquas Underwater Parameters. Various settings can be made here. Aquas 2020 features dynamic underwater effects. This means that for underwater fog you have a main value and a deep value. The main value is used when close to the surface, the deep value is used when reaching the maximum depth specified. In between, the value is interpolated. For the fog color, Aquas will initially use colors based on the water color. The maximum depth is set to 10 but can be changed at will. If you have multiple water planes in your scene, each will get a component holding the underwater parameters. This allows the underwater effects to be different for each water plane. Aquas has also added an additional material to render the back face of the water. The front face and the back face material share some values. Keep in mind that when you change the deep water color on your back face material, you will also have to adjust the fog color in the underwater parameters component. Let's have a look at the camera object in the hierarchy. We see that it has been given a box collider and a component called Aquas Underwater Effects. The collider is required by the Aquas Underwater Effects component to determine which water plane it has to render underwater effects for. You can change various settings here related to lens distortion and blur effects. You can also enable or disable wet lens effects and the spawning of bubbles underwater. You can use your own sound effects, but if you leave the audio clips empty, Aquas will fill them with some sound effects of its own. Let's hit play and explore the scene. We can already see that partial submersion works. The part of the camera that is underwater gets the underwater effects applied to it, while the part that is afloat does not render them. We can also see that everything is a bit blurrier underwater and that parts of the camera that emerge from the water get the wet lens effect applied to them. If we go a bit deeper into the water, we notice that the fog becomes denser and darker. When we move closer to the surface, we can see a bit better. This setup of the underwater effects also fully supports the depth buffer. However, it can be a bit expensive on performance. If you don't need the rendering of partial submersion and depth buffer support, you may use a simple underwater setup instead. Let's exit play mode and replace the advanced underwater effects by the simple ones. We move over to the setup wizard and in the underwater setup tab, we select the simple underwater setup. Now let's click add underwater effects. Aquas tells us that the water plane already has a static boundary and asks us if we wish to replace it. We have not customized it, so it's safe to replace it. Next, we are being told that we already have underwater effects enabled for our camera and asked if we wish to replace them with simple underwater effects. Since we want to replace them, we click Replace. Not much has changed and when we look at the camera's inspector, we see that the Aquas Underwater Effects component has been replaced by the Aquas Underwater Effects Simple component. The settings of the component are almost exactly the same. One last setting to make before we enter play mode. Since the simple underwater effects do not render partial submersion, let's reduce the camera's near clipping plane. We will change the value from 0.3 to 0.05. Let's hit play now. When we go underwater now, we see that there are only two possible states. The camera is either underwater or in the air. The missing masking makes Aquas a lot more performant. 
If you don't need partial submersion and the rendering of depth buffer dependent effects underwater, the simple setup is probably what you're looking for. For the simple underwater effects, Aquas makes use of Unity's Global Fog. Please keep in mind that in deferred rendering mode, Unity's Global Fog will only work correctly if you have a post-processing profile active for your camera, even if that profile contains no effect. And that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will have a look at how to make additional shoreline effects and use a setup with it to create a shoreline mask for this. If you have any questions or need help and support, please feel free to send an email or leave a message on the forum. Thank you very much for watching.